Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> it's Vlogmas one. Now, I literally just got home and I realized, wait, it's Vlogmas day one. I need to record something and put it out. Like, ugh. So anyways, let's get into it. Today, we're diving into the incredible world of castor oil. And we'll be uncovering its versatile uses for both health and beauty. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for more amazing tips on here. And also, just if you want to know what one of my life. Um, anyways, let's get to it. First of all, castor oil is a game changer for hair care. Listen, whether you're battling hair loss or you just want to strengthen those locks, applying castor oil to your scalp can stimulate hair growth. So for somebody like me who has seborrheic, I can never pronounce that word, seborrheic, seborrheic, I don't know. But that's something, I put, the, I put the spelling right here, that word there. Um, so for somebody like me with seborrheic dermatitis, uh, my scalp gets a little bit inflamed sometimes and sometimes it look like, it looks dry and flaky and uh, no amount of washing on my wash <laughs> no amount of shampooing can help it um so what i do i use my apple cider vinegar add that to look like my shampoo wash my hair out and then i'll go in with my castor oil my, well usually my jamaican black castor oil and i'll go through on my scalp no let me tell you the cast the, the, vin the apple cider vinegar stings but then the, the castor oil kind of give it a, a soothing feeling and it, and it helps to repair my damaged scalp. So I, I, I strongly recommend castor oil for hair growth and for scalp, um, for scalp treatment as well. Like strongly, strongly, must strongly recommend it. Secondly, we're going to move away a little bit from hair care and we're going into digestive health. Um, so traditionally, traditionally, castor oil has been used as a natural remedy for digestive issues, you know, due to its unique properties. First and foremost, it is a potent natural laxative. It contains rice... What the word right there say, so cause we don't want to bite on my tongue. So the word there, it contains that acid which activates um, receptors in the intestines leading to contractions and bowel movements. So if you have constipation problems or you find yourself constipated, just, you know, a look at tubes of oil, um, castor oil and you're good to go. Just a few drops and you're good to go. And, and even while we're on the, 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 um, my mind gone hold on i must still come back like i'm gonna get a brain freeze and even as we're talking about it being um, a potent laxative castor oil also has uh, um hydrating effects on the intestines helping to soften and lubricate the stool um and you know and this make it easier for the stool to pass through the digestive system and reduce straining and all that wonderful things that is affiliated with constipation. So like I said, a few drops of uh, castor oil and you, you, can, you can help to alleviate that issue. I you know just as how I, I spoke about it having anti-inflammatory properties that help with my, my dermatitis, is the same kind of um, um, contribution it will also do to your intestines it um it can get rid of inflammation or, or it can reduce inflammation in the digestive tract so if you're struggling so if you're struggling with things like ibs i don't know how much time i can reiterate it i strongly recommend it also with everything that we do in life we do it in moderation we do it in what students moderation because excessive use of um or misuse of the castor oil can lead to dehydration electrolyte imbalance and you know a myriad of other complications so you would use it judiciously i beg of thee and about to come use it and kill off yourself and your ears say i may cause it cause it's not me now let's 
Let's move back over into more pleasant things. Let's get away from the juju. <laughs> um, so castor oil also is good for glowing skin. So it's a natural moisturizer, basically a natural moisturizer. I've said it in another video before that castor oil is rich in fatty acids. It's a rich source of fatty acids, um, particularly the, the R word again that so when you use even castor oil on just your skin your skin not just your ear no but your face your hands your body when you use the castor oil arm um, in those places as well it helps to lock in moisture and prevent dryness of your skin and it promotes um soft and supple complexion you don't have to bleach Love the skin that you're in and use the castor oil and keep it moisturized and keep it moving. And for those and for those of you who um struggle with dry skin, um it also has hydrating properties. Castor oil hydrating hydrating like I'm about my tongue hydrating properties. It it literally penetrates deep into your skin, deep into the, the layers of your skin, and provides an intense hydration that can last for extended periods in addition to moisturizing castor oil is packed with nutrients that nourishes the skin helping to, pre to pre ugh, helping to prevent premature aging and maintaining skin health that makes sense that makes sense a while ago slows down aging basically premature aging because some of us will work hard and life stressful and uh, Life can make you look older than we really are. So use some castor oil to slow down that aging so we don't have too much of the wrinkle them, you know, too much lines on my face and so forth. So yeah. I'm not even have said this, but the same information property um can will prevent redness of the skin. So if you have little skin issues, castor oil can also help with that. Just like it helped with my cerebral dermatitis. It will help it end up with skin stuffed as well. It's a good acne treatment. It helps to fade scars and blemishes and can be used in your DIY mask, whether it's hair mask or face mask or body mask. It's, it's really good. I've also heard, this is another um, beauty thing. I've heard a lot of um, like people who are into beauty and uh, all that jazz. I've heard them saying how castor oil helps with their, to grow their lashes. Um, so you might want to brush your lashes with a little bit of castor oil even one again to help um, with that kind of growth. If you have joint and muscle problems like me, like my knees and my back, like my all growing pains, so I have enough issues and uh, the fact that I used to dance. And so I have all these injuries, but um, if you, you can also use your castor oil to make like a blend, a massage blend for your joints and stuff like that. And it helps to alleviate the pain somewhat. Not majorly, but it helps to soothe the pain. I don't know, I, I don't know how many points I have gone because I'm, I'm literally just talking. Um, but a few more things as they pop in my head. Cuticle conditioning, you can use it for your cuticles. You can also use it for your, to remove your makeup. It is a good, um, I mean, it is good for your skin. So imagine using it to remove your makeup. Um, so it, it helps a lot as well. And uh, while you're cleaning your makeup off, you're, you're moisturizing your skin at the same time. Imagine that. Imagine that. But anyway, so I'll leave you with those few things for now in this video. And uh, it's Vlogmas 1. Well, we're counting down to Christmas. The, the, the countdown to Christmas has officially begun. But anyways, guys, um, like I said, everything you do, do it in moderation. So... Don't be drinking, don't be your belly hurt, don't drink a whole bottle of castor oil. No, don't do that. Do everything in moderation. And even with your hair, you don't want to be using too much castor oil in your hair like every day because then your hair starts weighing down and it gets heavy. And then when you use too much castor oil on your hair, you can't get where you can't and, and um let me slow down. When you put too much oil on your hair, too much of the castor oil on your hair and it starts weighing down and get heavy. You start getting product build up on the outside because nothing can penetrate the oil to get into your actual strand to moisturize it. So sometimes your hair can be dry, drying out beneath the oil and uh, your, oil, your hair is just greasy but it's dry. Yeah, you understand me? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So you want to keep your hair clean and fresh, but use your, your castor oil um, to moisturize and to treat your scalp. Scalp. Hey, I saw Jamaican start. Jamaican pronounce P with F sometimes. Scalp. What, what, what was that? Uh, the educated. Don't do that. Use a teacher. Behave like a teacher. Talk like a teacher. Anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. Um, see you in the next one, Miami. You are you. Ah, good.